Welcome back to Old School. You can see we're still in November because there's something that I wanted to do. I have changed this to restrict reproduction. We have 2,000 chickens. I don't want any of them sold because we need, we need them when we get the slaughterhouse. Let's make it November. And we have some rain in the forecast. I think that's the first thing we need to check is when that, that's gonna hit at noon and last about two hours. Oh, it's still sold animals. It's still sold animals, so we're probably still at 2,000, but we lost some of the older ones, I'm assuming. We got some 22 months still. Yeah, okay. Maybe we do that. Okay, we'll try that. We'll see what happens when we get to December, but we need our truck because we need to, this one. We need to turn it into a flatbed because we got a, a lot. We have a lot of pallets to load. All right, we're at our workshop here. That's not, I, I wanna edit this thing. Customize, like so, there we go. All right, so we're gonna head over to the eggs first because I'm more interested in that. But the Ford isn't gonna really help us with unloading. So we'll get the Comfort King over here and see if we're able to use that to sneak in to take care of these chicken eggs. Chicken eggs? Yeah, chicken eggs. There we go, through the door. And we'll shut that off so there's no exhaust getting to the chickens. They have 16,000 liters of food still. So I think we did good with that. And we get a little more adults running around there. They look a little feisty this morning. So what do we have for just four? I swear there was this many last month already. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Comfort King. Try to get those moved. And then we'll move the strawberries as well. We have $90,000. Is there any chance we can get to 200 today? I don't see how, but we do have a field to harvest over yonder. So we'll have to get to that later. Where's the Comfort King? Here it is. All right, let's head back over there. Get some of these eggs put on the truck. I was hoping for a lot more because I swear we had that many last time. Maybe that's what I stopped, egg, egg production. All right, so this tractor should be able to get in here if we don't hit the door. And the umbrella and the pipe are in the way. All right, well, we tried. We tried, we tried, we tried. We're just gonna load these on up this way and say we, we, we gave it a good shot to not use super strength, but um, I might change this mod. I've been thinking about it in, in between year two and three, because I think I'm gonna take a mini break. I haven't decided yet, uh, but we're going to, I wanna change and customize the mod to where this spawning location is to work for us. Uh, maybe we role play that. We have an employee that's moving them outside. They spawn here or, or they spawn, you know, back there and they package them up here and then they move them outside instead of to this holding area. Cool concept, but without customizing the exact vehicle that we need to get in here, it's just not working for us. And I don't know why we're flying. There we go. All right, let's strap these bad boys in. Get the Comfort King out of the way. Jump in the right tractor or vehicle. I'll just leave you right there and we'll go 5,000 pieces about $60 a piece I think should be pretty good money so we'll get all the strawberries loaded on here as well and then head on to the selling location no shot this is safe right that's a lot that's a lot of bushels and a lot of eggs let's, uh, let's see the right place to sell these if we were good at doing our chores every day this wouldn't be a problem right sell everything the first sell everything and then eggs are the best at one of the sell everything's. Let's go ahead and tag this one. And it is the further one. Um, is that the best combo? So that's a little bit better because we want more on the eggs, I think, money-wise than the strawberries. Yeah, we're going to the closer one. All right, we might regret it. We should have done the eggs separate since it's two locations, but we'll see. Should be a pretty little penny here. And then I think if we go ahead and unstrap them, they will just start dropping and get one penny or one one penny one dollar amount yep they're all taken except for this one got it in time all right you are going slow all right that should be good last one is selling well it's a little less than i was hoping for but thirty-three thousand, almost thirty-four thousand plus a thirty-five hundred dollar environmental score reward not too shabby oh yeah forgot we left the tractor out here now can i hook up to this water and reload it this way I know this is super cheesy, but I, I just want to know. Oh, it's empty. Loop around to the well. And I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. You're like hooking up a hose, right? Okay, that worked. Um, There we go. Yeah, that's kind of funny. All right, that's uh, that humored me. 
All right, we said we we're gonna clean this up. Let's go ahead and get that done before we use it today. Spray it off a little bit. Just gotta get this next harvest going. So nine o'clock still. We might be able to beat this rainstorm if we get on the field as soon as possible here. I really debated getting a bigger harvester for this, but then I remembered we really want that $200,000 and I'm not, I don't think we're gonna get it before the end of year two at this point, which is super, super sad, but We'll get it eventually. We do have some weeds, I believe, that we need to spray coming up here. I'll have to take a look at our documents here. Take a look at our documents. We'll look on on the computer and see if uh, I can't. I don't even know what I'm saying, guys. I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, we're getting the harvest underway. It looks like 541 bushels per hectare about what we're getting right now. Yeah, if we changed our settings, that would probably tell us per acre. Let's do that. I think that's how we prefer it. Fahrenheit hectares, acres, there we go. So yeah, 218 bushels per acre. Is this area gonna stay red or do we get it in a better state than when it was grass? Oh yeah, it's turning yellow. That's not bad, that's good. Oh, this field's huge. This field is huge. And this is what we needed for our chickens. We might be spending some money today. This is gonna take forever. Didn't even get around the headland here and we are full. I think, I think we might've done it. I think we might've gotten rid of the food crisis for our chickens over there. Oh boy, whatever, we'll get there. Yeah. Well, we're on our way back to the store and I'm hoping we get there with fuel. It's blinking, but we're gonna sell this. We need to upgrade and we're not gonna, unfortunately in year two, we're not gonna get the slaughterhouse. We're not gonna have enough money for that. But I think pretty quickly after we start year three, we'll be able to progress and get that pretty quick. I think I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of eggs coming in and we're going to take a look at the chickens. We're going to sell a decent amount of the males. They're not going to produce eggs for us. So that'll be our thing. Instead of holding on to them to slaughter them, we'll just get rid of them right away. Hope that we can make capacity for more females that will generate more eggs. And then once they mature enough, we can then send them to that slaughterhouse when we get it and then change or in turn, we should be able to keep enough of the female chickens that are older. Hopefully they don't grow past that age where we're allowed to slaughter them. We'll see. Once we get to the store, we will uh, get a new combine. There is a another John Deere that's not too expensive that I wanna look at and get a bigger header as well. And it has a bigger capacity in the hopper. Of, I think it was 240 bushels that it will hold. So that'll help us get our job done quicker. Less stopping with the combine, less unloading with the combine. I think that will help a lot. We got another field we got to plant today. We got, I believe some weeds to take care of. We'll take a look at that in a few, but still a lot to do here in November and it's 10 o'clock already. So I wanna speed things up and I'll look, we forgot our forward forklift was over here still. You know, it looks like fuel was not an issue here. I was really worried we we're gonna run out when we got close to here, but let's go ahead and talk to them about selling this. There we go. Uh, we will repair. We're gonna do all the things to get as much money as possible for this. 37,000, that's pretty good. And sell that. And we're sitting at 160,000. Let's look at the chickens real quick. So we go to the bottom here, we see female, 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 a lot of female. Did it sell all the males? Nope, we have 527 roosters. And they're $2 each, so let's go ahead and how do we sell them? Uh, we have to do that over there, that's right, okay. So yeah, we got a good amount of males to sell, that'll give us more capacity, it'll go through less food. As something I probably should have looked at earlier on. Thank you for the comments, I apologize, I forget who made that comment, I could look, but I'm lazy, it's production. We'll throw it on the screen. And the one we want to go with is the 7700 7, here. See, 258 bushels. I want to go to like the 76. I like the look of this. Let's look at this exhaust. What is changing? Is it back here? I don't see anything. And it's no, is it this thing right here? Uh, nope, must be my imagination. We'll just go with that wheel setup. Let's see, a four wheel drive. Yeah, I think I want the four wheel drive. Let's do that. So that will be 37,000. So about even with selling that harvester. And let's go look at these headers now. And the biggest one that we can get is right here for $16,000. And I like that look better. This looks a little more old school. Let's go with that. And that's when we yeah, figure out if we can get this home. So we're sitting at 106,000 still. It costs us a little bit more money than I was thinking it would. And we just drove right on top of our header there. What a good, what a good farmer we are. And this should work pretty good. Looks kind of 
looks good from the front. From the back, it looks a little oversized for this combine, but I think it'll do its job very well. Let's get it home. And let's see, we didn't finish the headland, so we'll go over here and get that rolling. And then we will, gosh, do another round of it. That's a good size field. That's nice. Go ahead and lower this. And we'll go all the way to the edge here and do a full headland with the new size of the header. Feels good. I think this was wise. We still have a decent amount of money. And this could set us up to be able to sell some grain soon if we have this much and a better swath too on this. It's not just, that's probably because the header's bigger. Oh, there it goes. Now it's bloop, bloop, bloop. But get over here, start rolling with it. You can see a slight bit of green in the map there for the yield, which is what we're hoping for. I'm hoping when we get done, all these red spots are, are completely gone in there. That light green color, that greenish yellow that we see. But 192 bushels an acre, already at 17% capacity here. This is awesome. All right, let's bust this out. All right, let's give it a shot, hand it over to a worker here. And this is gonna be more than enough to fill this up. So let's, oh man, will we get here in time? We're probably not gonna get here in time. All right, let's go ahead and stop and unload with us. Oh no, look at the header, look at the length here. That's gonna be problematic. I guess we gotta squeeze right next to the header. And is that unloading? It appears to be. Not the best situation, but let's go ahead and let that roll. We're gonna head over to the chicken coop and see about getting rid of our male chickens, our roosters. I believe it's right here. Where's the trigger? Where's the trigger? There it is, okay. So now when we come over here, we can say, oh, this should be interesting. Mail, select, only one. Okay, Cur select 60. So it looks like we could sell 60 at a time and we're getting $30 because of the fee every time. And I don't think there's an animal dealer here. So this is the way we're gonna do this and lose a bunch of money and mail here. And I think that's got them all taken care of. So that leaves us with 1,168 chickens in here. And that should be less food that they go through and more capacity for more females. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. How do we wanna do this for a worker? I think we start right here. Might be best if we just bust this out. All right, well, that's unloading. We'll go ahead and switch over to the John Deere. Oops, seems like it's getting cloudy. And we'll put this in the parking lot for now. And we need to get the lime spreader out and get the southwest field prepped to turn over and get replanted today. And I think we're good weed wide. Weed wise. And we'll just sneak in here, get attached there. And we'll create a course and save it so that we could just turn it on and let them drive to the field moving forward. And then we'll get back to harvesting. And by the time we're done harvesting, we should be able to plant this field with our new setup of our planters. All right. Let's go ahead and number of headlands, we'll do one on this and go like that. Let them get started and then we'll go in here and Southwest is the field we're on. So we'll save, activate, call that lime and that should be good. Beautiful. And we are done. Go ahead and close that, continue on our way here. And it looks like we're close to getting that gravity wagon full. So we'll have to drop that in the silo or the bins for now, the bin and then we can move it over to the chicken coop as needed. But we will be doing all that ourselves because I don't want a worker to handle this because we are going at a nice strange angle here that a worker will get confused on. And the rainstorm is here. Let's go ahead and open this up, unload everything. We'll have to adjust what we're doing because of that. If I remember correctly, it should just be for a couple hours here. So we can find a few other th chores to do while we wait. Cruise over, drop off this first load. A 600, we're just gonna drop off the gravity wagon for now and we'll take the grain cart back over to the coop and get it topped off for now. Let's go ahead and slow down here and drop off some wheat. And we will leave the gravity wagon here for now because it'll get in the way at the chicken coop. And it looks like we're almost done laying lime down. Perfect timing. Back on up here. Should be good right there. Yeah, they finished their job here. Yeah, this is going up pretty good. Producing eggs, we got 100 or 289 pieces. All right, let's get back and get that unloaded all the way. Do what we got to do to get here. Header is a little too big, huh? There we go, just next to it there. And taking a double check at the weather, yeah, through the 1300 hour, so we will stay busy until then. Go ahead and drop this off, and then we'll do a couple loads, I think, 
back and forth of some wheat from the silo and just get it filled up over here. No reason not to. All right, the weather has cooperated. We'll get this harvest all finished. We got all of the wheat moved over to the chicken coop. I think our chicken feed crisis is over. And that'll do it for the harvest here in November. Got a good amount in the truck and the gravity wagon there. And this amount, I'm just gonna go straight over to the chicken coop and drop this off. After we get that done there, we'll go ahead and raise, shut off the header, and we'll just cruise on over there, drop it off like so, and then we'll put the harvester away, the truck away, and get some, oh, we gotta figure out what we're gonna plant in the big field. Something for chickens though. Let's see if we can scoot over far enough with the header attached. Oh, will this not work? Oh, come on. Thought we did this already once with the other harvester. Nope. Oh, there it is. There it was right there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, well, that's not gonna completely fit. So we'll just leave it right there. That's uh, unfortunate. And then these 300 bushels, I think are gonna go into the bins for now. And we'll get that dropped off. And let's look at our animals. Yeah, 41,000 liters. That should be good for a little bit. And we'll just keep an eye on that. I think we're done with this truck for now, so we can just leave it here and jump back in the John Deere. Got our pH good on this field. We'll go hook up to the planters, and then we'll take a look at all of our fields and determine what we want to plant. Probably barley. I don't remember what was what we just harvested out of this, though. Does it tell me? Oats. Okay, yeah, so we could do barley. We'll check our fields, though. We might have multiple barley fields already. Really focused on that chicken feed. I think we've gotten through the crisis of the chicken feed. So at this point, it's really just maintain and expand so that we can continue growing the chicken operation. And get this backed up here in a good spot, like so. And a good amount in here, but we might as well get topped off that. Then we switch to the back. Let's scoot forward, probably. That reached, nice. Now we will do the same over here for fertilizer. Close enough there. Can we do it? There we go. Nice. And I think I want to try to sneak in here and just top off on fuel while we're thinking about it. Not very low, but had the tendency of running out lately. All right, let's take a look at the map here. So we just harvested wheat and we have some wheat growing in the northwest field. We have barley here. So they don't eat canola though, right? They just eat, I always forget. Chickens just eat, they do sorghum. Do we not have sorghum? Oh, those are sorghum. So no barley. So we will do barley. Let's go ahead and switch this to barley. And then we'll make sure we switch to the other one and switch it to barley. Oh, was this fixed on this mod? Maybe. So they're all set to barley. It just says auto on the seed rate. So we'll go ahead and control V to lower those. And once we get over here, it should start planting. Oh. And we forgot to extend that out all the way like so. And let's go ahead and step back and check. It's just paranoid that we're gonna mess up here. Barley, we scoot over. Barley, absolutely beautiful. And we'll see how enjoyable it is to do it, do this large field with this setup. I imagine it's gonna be a blast. And that completes planting. Plenty of seed left over, beautiful. And it's starting to get dark. It's a nice size field. Turning out pretty good. Now, we didn't check for weeds. I don't think we have any weeds to spray today. Just uh, next month. Go ahead and stop right here and take a look at that now. And yeah, we're good for weeds. So that's going to do it for November. Let's let's take a rest. Animal upkeep, animal upkeep. Interesting. Okay, so they didn't sell any. Let's go ahead and go over there. 29,000 left. Okay, that's good. Let's see what we have here. Not too much. Okay. So we'll go in here again. Why do we have a, have ducks? We have ducks. I'm so confused. Oh, that's the animal dealer. We could buy them. Okay, okay, slow down, Chris. All right, so let's go here. We'll select all the new ones that were that were born, that were male, and that'll do it. So we're, oh, nope, nope, there's some there. That's probably gonna be a full 60, I would imagine. And this will just be our daily maintenance of selling our male chickens, male chicks and getting zero dollars for them, but that's all right. That's okay, now we have all female, and let's go look at it this way. We should have a good variety, yeah, good variety of ages now. Five month, 14, yeah, yep, good mixture. All right, so we'll leave those there for now. This we will close. Oops, yeah, because the chicken feed crisis is 100% over. 
And as far as harvesting is concerned, we have nothing to finish the year. So some expanding field-wise is probably in the cards today, but maybe making these roads as well. Now I bought this little itty bitty mulcher here cause I've seen things and we're gonna test this live because I don't know if it's gonna work, but I have seen Buck do this and I wanna try. Let's turn it on. And that doesn't really do what I wanted it to do. So we might have to do Terra Farm. Whoops. Got my hands all discombobulated there. And I was hoping we could use these mulchers to turn the grass into dirt. But that doesn't seem to be the case. What happens when we mulch over this planted grass? Well, we got the lime in the way to really see what's happening. And I would imagine it's probably working here. It's going to make it a grass path. All right, let's take a look here. Still planted as grass so that's not necessarily gonna work so let's go ahead and sell that let's go ahead and sell it we did buy it it was cheap maybe it was let's look in here should just look back at that video and see but we're trying to copycat because it was such a great idea forest mulching can be used for tree stumps and bushes um, what is the same thing um, you know what i know this isn't old school but i want to try it out and i believe yeah this is the wrong side there go around to the same spot and you know just curious we might have to put terra farm in here which i'm not opposed to but oh that's gonna do it but what is the state here okay yeah i like it won't be a bad looking dirt road be interesting to see if weeds grow over time on it or not and we'll lift here loop on back around i think it's kind of cool it's a nice mulched up area nice dark road for us a little different and we'll clean up to right here and we'll go ahead and lift and might as well make this little pass here the same way we'll just go up to about right here yeah i'm really interested to see what happens with this over time but we're gonna go ahead and do some more roads here is this wide enough should this go one more let's see let's drive on it no that feels pretty good that feels pretty good all right let's head on out to our fields this direction and we'll start making our roads in between those and i do want to start a path about right after the doghouse go right here let's back up a little bit it didn't lower when i wanted it to go right there and we'll just create a natural path we'll have to do multiple passes but that's okay and we're gonna go ahead and override the speed a little bit go to about eight go and it'll clean up these bushes for us along the way but this one i think i'll try to do three passes wide okay let's stop right here we'll hop into this mode and go into fences some decoration fences demolish and we're lined up here so we'll go like that and oh it did work okay all right and now let's hop out and open that up i don't is this tractor not gonna fit through these it is okay so we're going to stop right at our property though and lift a little bit and get over as much as we can we might have to do this kind of ghetto here like that we'll lift it again turn the wheels back it up as much as we can lower it back in here i think that'll do and we'll just even that up both directions and back up as much as we can like so and we'll go ahead and close those for now i think this is working out pretty good let me know what you think we're gonna get this done all right there's another path established i don't know what i'm gonna do in the back here yet but i think this is good over here and then we will head around the rest of the way let's show this in case it gets cut from the time lapse we just drive through these trees here and a little little bit of room to go in between them still oh little spot that we missed let's go ahead and grab that and then we loop back and connect to the other path and i want to make this a little more natural here for turning like so and we'll back and grab that and then that one bush i think right here we'll just back up till we clip it there we go then i think we've talked about well i don't know where we're going to establish those so i'm going to go ahead and move these like that like that for now but i think i do want to establish this line here pretty even and so we'll go like this create a nice path that's going to lead to our next fields and just turn like so and blend right into this road here really like the way it's looking and i think over time we'll determine if we just want to maintain this if weeds grow on it or if we want to make it turned into dirt with some rp there but let's do that and then we'll back like this as well just clean it up just a little bit there and then extend this widen it 
Now, this is the type of dynamic ground I, I would like to see in the next game. Where, you know, driving over the same spot multiple times over and over again would eventually lead to the ground t t changing. Like, the type of ground changing to where grass doesn't grow on it because it's been smashed so many times. And you know what I mean, right? Just like naturally like it does on properties. We'll go like that. That's established. And let's go see about these other fields here. What do we have? Yeah, so we want one here as well. I want to go about right there. We'll straighten out a little bit better, like so. And I feel like our honey situation here is kind of in the way, but we will loop past it right here and then turn right. And I thought there was enough room back here, but we might have to damage a little bit of our crops. Because I do want to connect this road up to the chicken coop as well. We were able to sneak over there pretty well there. And down like so. I'd like to do a little bit with this terrain eventually as well here. And we'll go to the left side there, fighting with the steering wheel. Oh man, do you guys notice the difference in my thinking voice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm sure everyone has noticed. I, I, you know, I'm somewhat questioning if I like this. I think it's different, and I like it because of that. But I'm not sure yet. Would have been nice to use Terra Farm and get the actual texture that I want. And then we don't have to worry about Because I'm, I'm like 99% sure the weeds are going to start growing on this. And let's go ahead and kind of loop this way. Extend the field. Yeah, yep, like that. Or the path. Kind of like our own little personal road network and go as far as we can just sneak here and raise different type of episode but i like these every once in a while now coming back this way we'll go ahead and lower it and widen it just a hair here but then we're going to loop around the outside of southwest field as well i think that'll do it for the roads for now it's pretty cool let's uh let's hop into the sky and look at this yeah some nice paths i'll you know, I'm going to think about if I want to leave it this darker color, if we're going to have it dry out over a couple nights of just sitting. And yeah, we can see how we're going to be finishing some pathing out here, probably in front of these fields as well. And then we'll extend a new field out here, probably right in here to our property line. Very cool. I shut that off. And again, I know it's not an old school implement, but we're going to live with it and try out our road here. This is nice. Yeah, definitely need to add to the front of those fields, though. Just a little cross through or cut through here. Yeah, I dig it. All right, we are going to pick the straw up and just let the bales sit on the ground. But first, I want to get this cleaned because we said we we're going to do that a while ago and it's been sitting here. So let's clean the Oliver real quick. It's going to get dirty today, but let's give it a good start. That's good. And I don't remember if we've gotten our weed spraying field established here yet. So we'll do that now. Clear that. I think I saw. Let's go in here. Lime weed spraying. We do have it. So let's load the course. We are in southwest, right? And let them go. Perfect. Okay, so now we can focus on picking up bales while they work on spraying. And I figured we'll just completely bale this and then we can pick up as much as we can with the auto trailer. It's kind of funny watching them fly. Look at that. Floop. And then we can do it in just trips instead of having to stop and sell, stop and sell like we've been doing. But we might be to the point where we've outgrown this baler very soon, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I definitely think with this new harvester, we're definitely going to need a wider baler. Otherwise, we're going to have to rake this every time, and ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, missing a lot, but you're getting a ton of bales. Yeah, and I think that'll do for the baling portion of today. Let's go ahead and stop here. Everything that's on the ground's a little bit of money, but we'll be okay. And use this new road here to go get the trailer. This one could get a little bit wider. Be interesting to see what happens when we plant, if it thinks this is an actual field already. It looks like it did, so we'll have to avoid it. But let's go ahead and put the baler away for now. Yeah, why did it go that way? That's so funny. Turn the wheel this way, get it straight like that, then we'll straighten out and it'll shoot back the other way, watch. No, nope, it's gonna make a liar out of me. All right, we're getting better. All right, let's go get the, the trailer. I'm kind of interested to see how many trips this is gonna take. What happened here? Oh. Okay, let's prioritize that first. Can't believe we ran out of water. I thought we topped this off pretty good the other day, but maybe we didn't. All right, it's back alive, but we'll do about four or five loads here just to keep it going. That's unfortunate. 
All right, that should be enough trips for now. Let's just drop this off here. And oh, that was almost too far. And now let's take a look at the capacity in here. 5,000 ton or 5,000 gallons. I think that'll be good for a little bit. All right, so let's get this hooked up and make multiple trips to sell some straw. And I do think this was a wise decision to bail all of it first instead of doing different trips. Feels much better. I'm not going to lie. I love these dark roads. And let's start this journey. I'm not in the right setting, apparently. We need that position. That. Uh, uh, why is this not auto-picking these up? Um... There it goes. Okay. Just weren't close enough to those first few, I guess. We got to run them. We have to be super close. Just like run them over. Okay. We'll just drive right on top of them. Apparently that's interesting. Okay. All right. There's a full load. We'll go ahead and drop that off. Come back. I think we're going to have like three or four loads. Yeah. That's definitely a missing path there that we just took. Get back on this. And this is nice because this takes us right back to the main road. I like it. I like road layouts. Gotta clean that up a little bit. They're still spraying. Are they finishing right now? Gotta be close, right? Yeah, there it goes. Finished work. Oh yeah, we gotta clean that one up. We messed that one up pretty bad there. All right, we'll prep this for unloading. Hopefully it's about $8,000 per trip again. Get a good 24 grand out of the bales would be pretty sweet. All right, let's drop that. Yeah, yep, about eight grand. Beautiful. And it should be that. All right, we got it set up right. We'll get the rest of these going. I'm hoping we get three loads. That would be sweet. And this field might get extended, so that's why I didn't do a road here. Yeah, lots of decisions to make. And load number two, just about 9,000 on that load. Well, I lost track of where we're at. I think we go right here. It'll be good to pick these back up, make sure it's set up correctly. And it is. All right. Yeah, we should get at least one more full load, I'm guessing here. Definitely outgrowing this baler setup. And we're full again. Try not to mess up our paths too much here. A lot left over. This is going well. And another 8,500, 8,800. Might get back to 100,000 after picking up the rest of these. My puppy really likes this field. Just hanging out here, knows we're working out here. And we'll get the last little group here. And it's just about another 50%. So we'll definitely get above that 100,000 mark. Beautiful. And the last little bit sold there for another four grand. We're at 102,000. Wow, 98,000 away from our goal. Hopefully that'll happen in the middle of next year at the minimum. We might look around at stuff we could get rid of financially. I don't know. Don't know what to do about that. I don't think we need all the tractors we have, but they're not worth much money either. All right, we're going to probably extend this next field or this field we just harvested next and get it all flipped and planted today. So that's what's on task next. And I think it's time to extend this field a little bit here. We're going to be replanting it and might as well take this opportunity to make it a little bit bigger since we know where our property line ends. We're going to take advantage of it, but I want to go out here and start this somewhat intelligently so we don't get too close to this fence. So we'll go right here, back up. Well, let's look back here how we did. Let's make sure we're still even. I think that's about as far, that's about as close to the fence as I want to get. We'll go ahead and enable field creation, drive this forward like this, and we are going to go pretty much to the fence line Add a good amount to this field. You can see we're getting serious, making a lot more money. Year three, this farm is going to be flourishing. Let's get this done and a lot more. Okay, I wasn't going to do a super long time lapse, but we have our answer. This is just a cultivated state, and we could have done that and seen it right here. It's just a cultivated state. So after this super long time lapse, we are going to turn that into regular dirt, but I still think it is an awesome way to role play making fields. Oh, we don't need to keep going with that. Let's turn around. Enjoy the time lapse. It's an awesome way to make roads, not fields. Fields are awesome too. All right, with that plowing done and the paths, look at these paths. They're drying up real nice. I was a little worried about that, but looking great. All right, we're going to go over in this area and drop off this tractor for now. A little foreshadowing there. Let's go get the Comfort King. And I believe the Comfort King is able to pull the lime machine. Oh, let's raise the forks. The lime spreader. Oh, this path is perfect. It'll be interesting to see if grass grows back on this over time. Wink, wink. Well, can it pull it? I don't think it can. All right, we'll have to do these things in phases. We'll do the liming later on. So let's find a good place to start. This is another field that I want to get going here. There's our road thingy. Go ahead and lower it. And we will drive forward here. This is going to be maybe surprisingly, maybe not. 
pretty good sized field. Let's go ahead and get the outline done and I will show you. And there's the outline. Let's take a look in the sky. This is a strange looking field. I will admit that myself. It's gonna come around this way out there all the way loop back. We eventually might take all those trees down and extend the field, but welcome to the West field. Let's go ahead and hop in here now and see if we can draw this thing. The game wants to finish saving for us. Now, if we remember, I think it was this field here or this view here. Let's start right there uh, like that. And then that might be a little too close to the trees. If we go on, yeah, that might be. So we might have to knock those trees out. And then, oh boy, shouldn't have, shouldn't have left the tractor there. Save the field and click on this, rename field. We're gonna call this West. Uh, let's see if we can see anything we can really just fix in here. Can we click on this? How does this work? How does this work? Basically grab that, move it like that. Oh, wow. What a good tool. Right, I'll spend a little bit of time cleaning this up and we'll test it out. Now, will it work? Do two headlands and generate course in West. Shouldn't take that long. Did we break the game? Boy, oh boy, have I broke the game this way before and I'll be very sad if it happened again. No, it didn't. Okay, so that did not work. Okay, I've had this work before in the past. I don't know how I did it. I have videos showing that we did it, but we'll go ahead. We'll plow this up. I bet it's because I plowed the outline. That's why it's not working. But we have the field outlined already for once we can do the next phase. So that's good. Maybe this time I've just gone crazy.
Well, that might be the longest recording session that I've made with the least amount of words. I bit off more than I could chew, I think. Well, we chewed it. We swallowed it. We're fine. But I have a feeling future me is going to be a little frustrated with present me when it comes time to harvest both of these fields with the equipment we have. But I think we're really setting ourselves up for an awesome year three. This is going to conclude year two. Really focus on expanding the fields and getting a lot of chickens in our possession. Year three? It's going to be focused a little bit on what I'm standing next to right now. Our house. Well, the slaughterhouse and our house. It'll be the year of the houses. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out on this season of Old School. I'll catch you on the next one.